What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You'll return the subscribe as always. Guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, this story been out for about five days, but I just caught on to it yesterday. And uh, this is some sickening uh, behavior in this story. I mean, it, it, this is brutal. It's a story about a, a mall we have out here in Houston. I forgot to shout out Houston in my last video. Shout out Houston. And um, it's about a guy that was, a, was a, an employee at the Galleria Mall, which is a mall out here in Houston, like I was saying. And he took it upon himself to uh, watch some kids, I guess, that were brought to work by another employee. And uh, what he did with these children will leave you speechless. And the FBI is involved and everything else. This guy has since been arrested and there'll be more arrests to come. But this story is one of those stories that you got to watch. And it tells you, you can't trust nobody around your kids, man. Whether it's friends or family. And this is a perfect example of what can and will go wrong sometimes. Take a look at this sickening uh, act. Only on 2 tonight, a very disturbing story. A former gallery employee is in federal custody because investigators say he recorded videos of himself sexually assaulting at least two toddlers. The FBI says one of those videos appears to have been filmed in a public restroom at the shopping center. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry spoke with the FBI and has the disturbing details plus a warning all parents need to hear. Details in these court documents are horrific and too graphic for TV, a warning that some of the details are pretty disturbing. The FBI got a tip last month from authorities in Australia. Some of those videos had been uploaded to the dark web, and in those videos, investigators saw two silver bracelets like these, eventually helping them track down that former Galleria employee. Tonight, 29-year-old Arthur Hector Fernandez III, federally charged with sexual exploitation of children. The former Galleria employee and six others allegedly recorded sexually explicit videos with two children between the ages of two and three. According to court records, four videos uploaded to a private invitation-only forum on the dark web. Once they're out there on the internet, it never goes away. Both of the toddlers had relatives who also worked at the Galleria, and Fernandez allegedly offered to walk the kids around the mall when their relatives couldn't find a babysitter. Investigators believe at least one of the sexual assaults happened in a public bathroom at the Galleria because one of the victims was seen lying on a changing table. Being in a public place, uh, you would never think, right? As humans, we sort of explain things away. What do you usually find when it comes to the connection between the victim and the perpetrator? It's not the white van that's pulling up. It's the person next door. Oftentimes we are looking for monsters just because how heinous the crime may be, um, but we're dealing with humans that are doing horrific things. Supervisory Special Agent Torrance White leads FBI Houston's Human Trafficking and Violent Crimes Against Children squad right now with more than 100 active investigations. As the increase in use of the internet grows, uh, I would say more cases will, will grow. The Children's Assessment Center in Houston says most victims know and trust their abuser. That's why family members should be attentive, especially if the kid can't make an outcry. If the child is very young, it could be that they are wetting the bed, maybe they have physical manifestations such as bruises, um, if they're a little older, maybe grades are dropping. Victims needing help are the FBI's first focus when identifying those in graphic videos, but that also helps put investigators on track to the suspect. In the case of Fernandez, investigators say he wore two silver bracelets, one with a dolphin charm. The FBI seized three pairs of white low-top converse from his address, observed on the floor of one of the videos. It's a, a thorough review, all hands on deck. Those clues recognize by other mall employees, the relatives of the young kids he's accused of assaulting. Tonight, Fernandez is being held in federal custody pending trial. The judge writing that he cannot be allowed to abuse any other minors and that the evidence in this case is overwhelming. The FBI says their investigation continues and more arrests are possible. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. All right, guys, that's the story. And this dude right here, uh, Arthur Hector Fernandez III 
is in jail. And I got to be honest, when I first seen this story, it made my heart sink. And what made my heart sink and what hurt me the most is these two children are two and three year old toddlers, guys. Two and three years old. And a lot of people look at that as, oh, well, you know, it's sad because they were so small and they couldn't defend themselves because, you know, two and three year old children are extremely cute. They come into their own a little bit, but you see a little bit of personality. They look like little tiny people. They resemble their parents in a lot of ways. You start to really see yourself through your child. And to have somebody come and do this to them under the guise of trust, I guarantee you the parents feel bad or the parent that trusted this guy. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The way I look at it with the two and the three year old uh, age thing is this from a development mental standpoint at two years old. Trust is already established. Three years old, trust is already established. You know, big people aren't going to hurt you. Everybody comes up to you. They say nice things to you. Everybody seems to smile and show you overwhelming amounts of love. You trust humanity like they did, like most children do. People encourage you to be creative. Some of them might laugh and joke with you, get you to write on paper, teach you things. Tell you to teach others. Clap when you make an achievement. Nothing wrong with that. Everything right with it. But I'm going to tell you something. When you deal with this type of stuff and you get discouraged at that young age of being on this planet, it can lead to a lot of self-doubt. What type of mental makeup do you think was ruined? I mean, what type of uh, part of their mentality you think was ruined? by what they uh, went through in that restroom. And supposedly it was multiple restrooms. It wasn't just one. Seven people. He the ringleader. Supposedly, hey, they brought the kids to work in the mall. Hey, I'll walk the kids around while you work. You trust him. Trying to make ends meet. Come off as a friend. I'm keeping it real. Look at that picture. He wouldn't have had none of my kids. Those that know, no. I'm going to keep it real on this too. You know why I peel his face off? Here you are, don't want kids, ain't trying to make kids the natural way. And here you are up here destroying creation of somebody else that did what they were supposed to do. You hear what I said? This dude is a child. Peter Panis tastes the rainbow is the fruitiest kind. This dude right here. Treasonous act he, he did. You went and got six other dudes. Where'd you get these dudes from? Because, you know, it's creeps all over. So a lot of times that these people like here, just just the energy draw. Them. I bet you they were strangers. Who are you that you won't protect the child? And who are you that you scheme on one as well? He should not be in jail. He should be uh, ash somewhere. He should. You mess with them child's mind, as well as their body. Put it on the dark web. You knew what you was doing. Demon shit. You knew what you was doing. And I'm trying not to cuss, but I, it's hard to do these videos, y'all. It's hard. This type of stuff here ain't feeling it. Ain't feeling it. For real. If I seen him in jail, I'd attack him on sight. Knowing what he did, you mess with the minds and bodies of younger people. Couldn't defend themselves with you physically or intellectually. And you got others involved, videotaped it, put it out on the uh, dark web and then charged by invitation only for people to come look at this uh, sickness that you created. Nah, nah. 
See, it's the difference between being civilized and being soft in society and the way they deal with these crimes. I'm telling you, if I could change the justice system overnight, stuff would flip. Ain't no more just living for free behind bars when you did something heinous and you sitting up here laughing and joking while a person that innocently, whose innocent life you took is gone. No. Where's the balance in that? Locking people up don't work in most circumstances, depending on the crime. It don't work. If I come to your house, blast all your kids and your wife, you're a man, you're sitting there, I get arrested. Where's the justice if you can't lay hands on me or do something yourself and got to put it in the wrist of strangers that will go to a damn committee and vote on the lives of your kids that are no longer here or your people that you love and don't know you and just know a docket number? Where's the justice in that? People will say, oh, an eye for an eye, leave the whole world blind. Shut your stupid ass up. Because some of us would still have eyes. The ones that are trying to do right, that see through the BS. Man, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to lose my head on this, man. But, man, come on, man. Two and three years old, man. What are we doing here? Look at him. Happy as shit. Holding the sheet the fuck up. Foot loose and fancy free. I'd knock his block off right now. I'd knock, I'd knock his block off right now. I'd punch him so much my, or smack him so much my fingerprints would come off on his face. This right here is not human. That's animalistic behavior. You preyed on children that couldn't explain the hell you unleashed on them when they went back to their parents. That trusted you to just be a guardian for a few hours and your fruity ass couldn't fucking do it. FBI involved. Embarrassing. You work at the mall. Platin. You could have took him to the food court. Gave him something to eat. Laughed and joked with him. You could have took him to the skating ring thing they got in there. You could have did something. Children love lights and excitement. And that's all there is in the Galleria Mall. It didn't take much. They could walk. But you chose to take them somewhere. And expose them to the darkness you are and involve six other grown ups to ravage them children. The mental side of this with children that young is immense. You guys don't know it. And it's in a bad way, a real bad way. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason. Man, my next one. Dynamic Reason channel, as always. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry I yelled, but damn. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.